call him a street performer, a bucket drummer in particular. And I would say I've been homeless. Though I'm not homeless at this very moment, I've been homeless for about six years, off and on. I had to leave my house because I had warrants and the police were looking for me. So I chose to come stay out here, like in no man's land, you know, because in Roxbury, where I live, they were always visiting my house, so just to avoid the rest, I would, you know, just hang out here and hang in the trenches. In the wintertime was the worst. We either, we try to hang in like warm places for the most part, um, slept in hallways, and you know, we had blankets. People! Happy New Year! And the name of this song is called Money in the Bucket. If you like the show, please let the bucket know. <clears throat> I had a replacement. The hip lasted for 14 years. It got infected. They took it out. And they took it out. And then they didn't want to give me another one. They told me they took it out. They didn't want to give me another hip because they said that they give me another hip that they're scared that that's going to get infected. So for the last nine and a half, ten years, I've been without a hip. I had the bad blood circulation that caused ulcers. Open sores in the legs or the foot. I got mines in my foot. Open sores that don't heal. It's still hard, man, because I can't work. I got no help. I wanted to become a chef. I was working on it. But because of that, that uh, infection, I couldn't get it. Now I'm out here in the street. I have no place to go, I don't know what to do. I'm Christine, and I'm a rookie from Hyde Park. Boston Housing tells me five plus wait years, and then they take you off the homeless priority list. So, that's what happened to me. The government, they're not making it easier. The chief of police, for A1 police stations, won't make it easy. So they make it more harder for us. And there's already been one death because of the weather. The mayor and the government that doesn't want to do anything to help the homeless. I mean, shut down the shelter within an hour and they ain't got no place to go. Shutting down programs that we need to get the help that we need and we can't. You know, between the cops harassing us, telling us we can't be here, we can't be there, we can't sleep here, or you can't use a public bathroom, you gotta go buy something to go use a bathroom, or you can only be here for 20 minutes and you get thrown out of a store. It's just crazy. They're telling us to go to shelters. Can't go to shelters. Shelters are overflowing. For the people that are left out here, it's either death or jail. And we're dying because we're not getting the help that we need. Yep. They look at us like we're scum, and we're not. And it gets very aggravating. I mean, I've literally sat and screamed at the cops, hoping they would lock me up just to have a roof on the land. I'll be lucky if I survive this winter. I don't even know if I'll be able to.